Hi, I'm Allie Landry, and you are watching Around the Clock. Now, on a recent episode of Recipe Rehab, they lightened up one of my go-to holiday recipes, gumbo. Our chefs take on the Edwards family gumbo. And I promise you, in the end, you're not gonna know the difference. This dish has 1,635 calories per serving. This is a lot of work because traditional gumbo, not exactly the healthiest. What I wanna know is how are you guys lightening up your favorite holiday recipes? Layla? Well, I'm wondering, do you, do you know how to make gumbo, Allie? I'm a Southern Cajun girl from Louisiana. I better know how to make a gumbo. So yes, either I do seafood or I do chicken and sausage. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to come over to your house for some gumbo. Okay. Cause I love gumbo. But speaking of gumbo, the way I lighten up my gumbo is, is that, you know, I'll kind of cheat on the roux, which is the base of the gumbo. I won't put as much oil in the pan to make the roux with. And you know, you still get that gumbo flavor, but you know, you just don't have all of the fat and the flour. And then I use like a whole wheat flour and I use olive oil and you know, some gumbo connoisseurs might have something negative to say about that, but at the end of the day, it still has the same flavor, you know, because it's really all in the seasoning and all of the ingredients that are yeah. in the gumbo in the first place. And then, you know, it just feels better to eat and not feel like, you know, you're eating a bunch of thick, you know, just grease and flour. So um, that's one recipe that I've um, really done well lightening up with, and people seem to love it. Well, I'm going to have to send you a powdered roux. It's a fat-free powdered roux. So you just do the, pow the powder and you mix it with your water. Um, so it's, it's the perfect way to really lighten it up. And I just do the brown rice because for me, it's one of those things that I don't really have portion control on. Like I just eat it like you eat your cake. Like I just eat this until I have no room in my stomach because I love it so much. So I use the fat-free powdered roux. I'll get you some. Kendra, what about you? How are you lightening up your holiday recipes? Well, you know, I don't cook. Uh, <laughs> so this is like jibber jabber to me. I don't even, like you guys are speaking a whole other language to me. The one year I barely ate was, I, I, I have to brag, me and my husband went over to Peyton Manning's house. It was so cool, but I didn't eat because I was so nervous. <laughs> Why were you nervous? Peyton Manning. Like, that is like the god of football. Have Thanksgiving around people you're nervous around, and, and you'll, you won't get fat. <laughs> so you don't even know if the food was good or not. I took a bite, but I was so nervous. <sighs> <laughs> Logan, what about you? Uh, I'm so embarrassed to tell you that I'd love to tell you how I lighten up recipes, but I don't cook either. <laughs> I live in New York City. It's so easy. You don't have to cook. Um, there is one thing that I do make. Um, it's called noodle pudding, and we've had it for a million years. And instead of using whole fat sour cream, I use light sour cream in it. So, I mean, that's that's about it. I know it's so not exciting. I'll have to take a lesson from all of you guys. Noodle pudding? That doesn't even sound good. What? 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 Is it sweet? We call it noodle pudding. It's like it's egg noodles and sugar and cottage cheese and sour cream. And it's it's and corn flakes on top and it's baked. It's what? It's, I know. I don't. Just stay out the kitchen. Just stay out the kitchen. OK. <laughs> It's delicious, but I, I understand that it doesn't sound delicious. We have got to try this noodle pudding. That's very unique. <laughs> okay, well, obviously, you know, some of us cook, some of us don't. Um, so we are really going to look to all of you guys who are subscribing and giving your comments to us below. We need to know how you lighten up your holiday recipes. We need some ideas, um, especially Logan and Kendra. Maybe you're going to inspire them to cook a little bit during the holidays. I'm all about the box stuff too. I like boxed, like store box. Oh, she likes the box things. Well, please, you guys, post your comments below. We can't wait to hear what you have to say. And thank you for joining this episode of Around the Clock. Subscribe now. You'll never believe what our moms will be revealing on the next Around the Clock.